Och det behöver vi Walmart. When you come to Walmart, or any grocery store, if you want to eat healthy, you should always eat from the outer aisles. Fresh apples. Sweet potatoes. You should always try to get fresh food and vegetables. Always try to shop from the outer aisles. up some avocados normally I would get organic avocados but avocados have a shell on it so sometimes I don't get organic but it's best to get organic if possible what's up people This is Hassan Shabazz from Second Life Health Wellness coming at you with another blog. Today we're going to deal with seven superfoods that can treat cancer effectively. Before I start this video, let me let you know that I don't claim to be a doctor. So this is not coming from you as medical information, but it's coming to you as health information, it's coming to you as educational information. So I don't claim to be a doctor, but I am a health coach, I am a nutrition coach. And of years of study in nutrition, I've come to uh, many conclusions when it comes to how food can affect the body. So, without any further interruption, let's go into this information. According to the latest research, there are seven superfoods that can treat cancer effectively. And uh, these superfoods include red wine, dark chocolate, blueberries, tomatoes, turmeric, green tea, and curry. And I'm sure that many of you are, all, are already partaking of these foods. Many people drink red wine. I particularly don't drink wine because if you're, uh, if you're a non-drinker, the same benefits can be found in grape juice. Grape juice has the same benefits of red wine. So you can substitute the red wine and use grape juice. Or you can use kosher wine if you got to drink wine. Dark chocolate. So you can find that at any store. Try to get organic dark chocolate. Blueberries. Try to get organic blueberries. Tomatoes. All, all this you should try to get it organic. Tomatoes, not only good for you, um, tomato, tomatoes are good for men when it comes to prostate health. So, Tomatoes are definitely good in preventing cancer. Turmeric, green tea, and curry. Curry is very prevalent in India, Pakistan, the East, but not that prevalent in America. But curry is a very good uh, spice to add to your food is also very healthy so now to recap sensible food that can treat cancer effectively red wine dark chocolate blueberries tomatoes turmeric green tea and curry and if you don't drink wine you can substitute the wine with grape juice or uh, grapes We 
want to discuss a process called angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is a physiological process of blood vessel formation during the early stages of the fetal development. This process, however, continues in our lives when we damage blood vessels through cuts or burns. The process is vital for the growth and spread of cancer as well. It is controlled by activators and inhibitors. And although most of cancer research is focused on inhibitors, the vascular growth of cells are controlled by the active activators. So the reason we mentioned this angiogenesis is because the seven superfoods that I just mentioned have the ability to stop angiogenesis and cut off the blood supply to tumors while it's preventing cancer cell growth. Without new blood cells, cancer cells don't receive oxygen, which leads to their demise. This is why most cancer drugs are pharmaceutically designed inhibitors. They try to neutralize the activity of the activators and stop angiogenesis, although they are not always affected. But we believe that these seven, it is believed that these seven superfoods provide the same anti-angiogenesis effect. And that is why they are extremely important for the treatment of cancer. We're gonna, we're gonna go back over those seven and look further into their effects. Number one, we said with red wine. Red wine is rich in antioxidant called resveratrol. So red wine contains resveratrol, which can also be found in grape skin. That's why we said, if you don't drink wine, eat grapes and drink grape juice. According to a nutritionist, this antioxidant can prevent heart disease and premature aging while also improving your glucose, glucose intolerance, boosting your energy levels and your focus. Just 225 milligrams of red wine or grape juice or grapes provide your body with 640 milligrams of resveratrol. Higher quality wines such as Bordeaux and Pinot Noir have a higher concentrations. And what we want to emphasize once again, non-drinkers should drink pure unsweetened grape juice. And you can also take Revestral through supplements in combination with grapes. So that's the first superfood. And the source of that superfood are grapes. Next superfood, turmeric. Turmeric is a beneficial spice which can be used for numerous medicinal purposes. It can stimulate weight loss and prevent cancer development as well. Also blueberries and raspberries, number three. These fruits are incredibly effective in preventing different types of cancer. They have also been shown to stop angiogenesis and reduce oxidative stress. Also, blueberries are also very good for leaky gut. And we have a couple of videos dealing with leaky gut. And blueberries are one of the fruit that you can eat to help with leaky gut. So check those videos out in the um, in a, in a different playlist that we have on the channel. So number four, tomatoes. Tomatoes can reduce, as I stated before, tomatoes can reduce the risk of prostate cancer by 50% according to a, by, and according to a, a Harvard study, as I said, prostate, uh, tomatoes can reduce the risk of prostate cancer by 50%. So, very important that men eat tomatoes, drink tomato juice, eat things that have tomatoes in it. Okay, 
This reduction of the risk of prostate cancer by physical sin, according to the Harvard study, is due to the presence of lycopene. Lycopene is a powerful anti-cancer agent that inhibits anti and angi angiogenesis. Lycopene is easily metabolized in the body and its concentration rises when it's exposed to high temperatures, which is why cooked tomatoes are suggested for cancer patients. Okay, so tomatoes good for to help reduce the risk of prostate cancer due to their due to the presence of lycopene. And lycopene is a powerful anti-cancer agent that inhibits angiogenesis. So we need to increase the amount of tomatoes in our diets. Number five, dark chocolate. Sweet should not be ruled out in the fight against cancer. Namely, dark chocolate is actually extremely healthy, provides heart health, enhances your mood, and, and combats malignant cells. That's why a lot of women, when they're feeling down uh, in an emotional rut, eat chocolate. Because chocolate is a natural enhancer of moods. I'm going to say coffee and green tea. Coffee and green tea are extremely beneficial and contain many cancer beating substances. Just make sure that you don't overindulge on your coffee. And if you can, try to drink organic coffee or drink coffee no more than twice daily. Number seven, curry. Curry powder is, popular, is a popular spice that has a number of valuable health benefits, including the prevention of cancer, protecting against heart disease, and reduce, and it also known be known to reduce Alzheimer's disease symptoms, ease pain and inflammation, boost bone health, protect the immune system from bacterial infections, and to increase the liver's ability to remove toxins from the body. And so those are the seven Food, superfoods that will greatly reduce your chances of getting cancer. One thing that we want to emphasize, and many many health practitioners have said, many many um, functional medicine doctors and many naturopaths, or doctors specifically, uh, especially have said that the Inflammation is the key to all illness. Inflammation. So if you can avoid inflammation, also if you can avoid mucus, your chances of living a long life increase. So if you haven't already incorporated these seven Superfoods in your diet, go ahead and do that. Grapes, unsweetened grape juice, resveratrol supplements in combination with grapes, turmeric, put turmeric on your food. Turmeric is a spice that you can put on your food. Incorporate blueberries and raspberries in, in, into your diet. Blueberries are definitely good for to help you if you have leaky gut. And, and also not just with uh, helping to uh, prevent cancer. Eat tomatoes. Increase your intake of tomatoes. Dark chocolate. You're going to eat, you have a craving for sweets, eat dark chocolate. Coffee and green tea. If you're not drink, you don't drink coffee, drink green tea. Add curry powder to your foods as, as, some of the, as one of the spices that you use to, uh, on your food. 
And one more thing about that, we want to remove the curry, curry powder because curry powder is not curry powder. I'm sorry, is not popular in the South. Not popular in America. Period. Basically, but better in the South. So curry powder. One, one, one more time, curry powder has a number of valuable health benefits: prevention of cancer, protection against heart disease. And it helps to reduce Alzheimer's disease symptoms. Eases pain and inflammation, boosts bone health, protects the immune system from bacterial infection, and it increases the liver's ability to remove toxins from the body. So, if you want to detox your liver, we, uh, we had a, did a video a couple of days ago about six steps of liver detox. So, adding curry to your diet will also detox your liver. So that's all I got for you today. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, smash the like button, leave comments below, and share this video. If you have friends, you have family members, and you're concerned about their health, share this video. And check back at this channel. We have many uh, videos dealing with basic ways to improve your health, general health tips, etc. So my name is Hassan Shabazz, Sacred Life Health and Connection and Welfare. Sorry, Sacred Life Connection and Health and Wellness is our platform where we provide free confidential health consultation and health coaching. The first session is free. This is our session. So book your free confidential session. And after that is um, $30 per session. We have a sick, we have a, we have a pay to go plan. We have a month by month plan. We have a six month plan. So if you're interested in talking to a health coach, contact us at hassanaskia at gmail.com. The link is in the description. Also is in the, in, in the about page on the about page, go to the website, contact me through Skype, many ways to, for you. Thank you.